Aloha y'all, Daniel Aaron here, your guide to vibrant living. I got a cool short video here for you today to get to the bottom line, the truth about what is up with affirmations, incantations. Is it a bunch of hoo-ha that actually makes things worse? Or is it something that you can actually use in your life? Well, the answer coming in a moment. Please first though, if this is interesting, useful, Please subscribe, share, like, let's get the word out so we got more vibrancy in the world. Now, when I first heard about affirmations a long time ago, you know, it was like that stuff from Saturday Night Live, every day, Stuart Smalley, every day in every way, my life is getting better and better. Oh my goodness, gosh, golly gee, people like me all the time, I'm wonderful. You know, that kind of stuff, and I wanted to puke, right? Because it sounded so phony, unbelievable. And that is the key distinction here. If our affirmation, incantation, mantra, whatever you want to call it, is phony, unbelievable to whom? To us. Right? By the way, affirmation, incantation, what's the difference? Maybe the difference is there's a little more energy or physicality to incantation. I'm incanting it, drawing it into life. Very cool though, if we go to Sanskrit and look at mantra, right? And I'm sure you know, mantra is something that you say over and over again, right? And in those uh, Hindu traditions, one of the things that is practiced is a mantra saying some form of the name of the divine of God repeatedly. And what we do repeatedly, we become. What we say repeatedly, we become. First there was the word, right? So. What's also super cool about mantra is the translation for it, magic, right? In Indonesian anyway, the translation for mantra is magic. And again, it seems like magic until you know what the method is because there is a vibration. You know what I'm talking about? There is a vibration to that thing you are saying, that affirmation. And ultimately, and let's look at it this from a brain science point of view, what is, what is an affirmation when you say it? Especially when you say in the correct form an affirmation. What's the correct form? And by correct, what I mean is useful, effective form. <laughs> and that is one that it's in the positive. It's not, I'm not this. It's not, I don't have this. I'm getting away. No, because that is just imprinting what you don't want. What you do is say, I am. I am is the basis of everything. I am delighted now that I'm living in an amazing home. I am thrilled to be contributing to the world in ways that are meaningful to me and making lives better for other people. Right? So you're saying what you do want. You're saying it in the present tense. That's a powerful affirmation, and you're doing it with language that's juicy and with feeling, right? As the musicians would say, once more with feeling, you got to have feeling because it's in the feeling that you tell your subconscious, I do believe this. And, right, when you create that affirmation, mantra, incantation, part of you knows, right? Even though it's not here yet, apparently, in 3D reality, the senses don't see it because that's why we're doing it to create something that's not here. Even though we don't see it yet, part of you knows, wouldn't have even done it or played with it, conceived of it, you know that it's possible. So when you're reciting, incanting, saying it, using your mantra, you are getting into that part of you that knows it is possible. And here's where the brain science kicks in really beautifully because when you affirm something with conviction, what you've done is made a decision. And here is a beautiful thing. My friend David Baer taught me this distinction. I'd never thought of it before. I've been teaching about the power of beliefs for 20 something years and I never thought of it this way before. A belief is a decision. Right? So a lot of us have worried about, suffered around for years, like, oh no, what if I have limiting beliefs, unconscious limiting beliefs, and that's why I haven't found the relationship, that's why I haven't created the abundance I want, that's why I'm not, you know. It's so disempowering, right? Because I'm stuck with this thing that I can't even define or see. So the really powerful and easy solution 
is to decide to cut off from that thing you don't want. And very often, whatever is the even imagined limiting belief, the reality, the choice, the upgrade is just the opposite, right? It's to affirm, to decide, I am that. I am capable of that. That is my birthright. That is my destiny. So when we make a decision, it's done, except if we go back, right? So, oh no, maybe it's not going to get in fear, we get in doubt, we go back to the way it was. James Allen, as a man thinketh, said so beautifully, successful people come to decisions quickly and are slow to change them. Unsuccessful people are slow to make decisions and are quick to change them. And the truth of this is the bottom line, metaphysical, psychological, brain science truth is if we decide something, boom, and don't waver, it's done, right? It's powerful. But for a lot of us, that's hard to do. So we tend to waver, which means that it doesn't come about. So when we have a mantra, an incantation, an affirmation, what we are doing is reminding ourselves of the decision we made, having the power of that decision to keep it in our midst. Posting it up on the wall, putting it on the mirror, also really useful to just keep it front of mind. This is a decision I made. This is the new decision. This is the new belief. This is the new reality that's coming. When? We don't care because we know it's happening. We know it's coming to us. And the sooner we can let go of that, the less we're in lack, the faster it comes to us. All right, so I hope that was useful. Affirmations, mantra, incantations, are they real? Are they messed up? It depends on how you use them and how you understand them. Use correctly, use powerfully, use effectively. They are incredibly resourceful, incredibly useful. I'll leave it there, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that this was interesting, entertaining maybe a little bit, especially with the falling over, and that, if so, please subscribe, like, share. Let's get the word out. More vitality, more vibrancy in the world, and if you my friend would like to go a little deeper if you're interested in the possibility in getting support. I have just opened up a few spots on my calendar. I am working with a few select individuals who want one-on-one -on -one guidance to live the vibration of vibrancy. And if that's you, if that seems like a possibility you'd be interested in, click down below. I'll put it in the description, a chance to jump on my calendar and let's have a conversation. I'll find out who you are, what you're up to, what you want, if I can help you, I'll tell you what's possible in that. And if I can't, I'll point you in the right direction. Either way, it'd be an honor to serve you in a strategy session. All right, y'all. Thanks so much. Aloha.